What in the world happened to Martin Mertens, Finn's dad? How did he go from being a seemingly pretty good dad to the worst dad in animation history? Well, oh boy, let me tell ya. Martin Mertens was a straight up con artist. Before he bumped into Minerva, and you know, before they made Finn, Martin was just chilling on the Hub Island, one of those human islands outside of Boo. Our dude Martin loved making bets and getting into all sorts of shenanigans with people. At one point, he even tricked the hiders into believing he knew a secret way past the Seekers. His main goal was working for both sides. He would trick the hiders and tell the seekers, but this time was different. Those hiders were like, nah, uh, uh you're coming with us, buddy. So after an epic fail of an escape from the island and breaking his legs, Martin found himself in the hospital. Enter Minerva Campbell, a pretty cool helper who told Martin he had one heck of a concussion and two broken legs. Our sneaky friend Martin tried to make a break for the hospital, but Minerva caught him in the act. So she had to stay overnight to keep an eye on him. But Martin was doing his Martin thing, trying to charm up Minerva, telling her he wanted to take her on a date, and she was kind of into it. The next morning, some seekers wanted to take Martin to re-education, but there was no way Martin was going to go to that. Lucky for him, Minerva lied to the seekers, saying he was in no shape to go, and they trusted her, so Martin got to stay. After that wild ride, Martin and Minerva went to dinner, fell head over heels in love, and before you know it, Minerva's pregnant and gives birth to their son, Finn Mertens. One night when baby Finn's just chilling, Minerva had to work, leaving Martin all alone with the little guy. But then, one of Martin's old enemies decided to crash the party. Breaking into their home, Martin grabbed baby Finn and booked it to a raft. He thought he'd just circle the island, but the island guardian wasn't having it. Thinking they were trying to escape, Martin told baby Finn he'd be back for him and went full on attack mode on the island guardian. Whipping out a laser gadget, he blinded the guardian's left eye, but the guardian fought back. With a huge wave, Martin and Finn separated, got lost at sea, never making it back to the island. Now get this. The next time we see Martin, like in order of events, is in the Adventure Time Distant Lands episode Bimo. This one's actually set before the main series kicks off. So, Bimo bumps into this guy who goes by Mr. M, and we've got a sneaky suspicion that he's none other than Martin Mertens himself. I mean, he's got those same selfish vibes Martin's known for. Spouts lines like, here comes the rascal, and at one point even says that kids always call out parents for being deadbeat. Kids, right? Always calling out their deadbeat parents. What? what? Sounds like our main man Martin, right? So what really happened between the time Martin got lost at sea and the time we see him in space aboard the Drift? Well, he ended up being picked up by some pirates after being lost at sea. How do we know this? In the promo arc for the episode Min and Marty, the episode where we get Martin and Minerva's backstory, the promo arc for the episode shows Martin Mertens with blood coming from his head aboard a pirate ship, with some pirates who look pretty concerned for the well-being of Martin, meaning that they found him after the whole Island Guardian situation and took him aboard their ship. But you wanna know what's even crazier? Do these pirates look familiar? It's the same pirates that accompanied Tree Trunks after she left Randy and became the captain of those pirates. Just a pretty cool connection and something that we can go off of that takes place after the Island incident, but before the drift. So after Martin, presumably, suffers from a concussion after getting launched by the Island Guardian, most people believe that he forgot his life, his wife, and his son Finn from memory loss. So he reverted back to his con man ways. But I'm not so sure because of this single line of dialogue from Martin in the episode The Visitor. I always planned to come back for you, but I didn't. That's true. It seems so genuine. Martin knew that Finn got stranded by himself. Martin remembered that he told Finn that he would be back for him, but made the conscious decision not to go after him. Also, in his story about explaining to Finn where he came from and who his mom is, it's like 50% true, but also 50% false. They were on a boat, they did encounter the island guardian, and there was actually a tiger. And when he talks about why he left Finn, about two roads diverging in the night and all that. Two roads diverging in the night all that. That's actually the truth. Martin's past of being a con man and his now reformed ways of living with Minerva and Finn did diverge in the night. When Widow attacked him and Finn during the night, his past life of being a con man diverged with his new family man life, living with Minerva and Finn. I don't think Martin forgot about his wife, his son, or his life as a barber at all. I think he chose to live his con man life rather than the life with Minerva and Finn, which looking at it now isn't far off from his character. That's exactly the kind of thing 
something Martin would do. In fact, Martin's had a concussion before and showed no signs of memory loss. Obviously, things differ case to case, and you could say a second concussion would make things a lot worse, but still, a pretty cool connection that we can make, that he didn't experience any memory loss with his first concussion. Now, this is the saddest part about this, because you would think to yourself, man, Martin's got this crazy new good life. He's got a loving wife, a kid, a new job as a barber. What else could he want? But in reality, that's not what Martin wanted. He was always a con man, no matter what. He saw being stranded at sea and picked up by these pirates as an opportunity to return back to his con man life without having to suffer any of the consequences. So he took it. It's a sad reality because even though you and I would think, why would Martin ever want to go back to that life? In the end, it's what Martin wants and Martin wanted to be a con man and there was no way of changing that. And that's what leads us into the Citadel. Most people think that Martin doesn't remember Finn, hence his reaction to seemingly not knowing who Finn is when he first sees him. But think about it. Finn is way older now and his hat is covering his hair. I just don't think Martin recognized who Finn was. Also, the first thing Martin says to Finn is escaping in Finn Starskipper. He wanted to leave with him because he didn't know who he was. But as soon as he finds out that that is indeed Finn and his son, he wants to leave with the monsters and leave Finn behind. After Jake told Martin that Finn was his son, he remembered that he didn't want to live that life. He chose not to go back for Finn in the first place. And after seeing his son here, after all those years, he still doesn't want to live that life with this family. And that's pretty much Martin's entire story. Him running away. He didn't forget about Minerva or Finn or his past life on the Hub Island. He just didn't want to live that life. So he constantly ran from it. I mean, every encounter with Martin from here on out is him running away from Finn. But Finn learned to accept that, that his dad wasn't going to change. And that's the sad reality. You can't change someone to what you want them to be. It always comes down to what that person wants to be. And in Martin's case, he doesn't want to live his life with Finn and Minerva. He wanted to be a con man, constantly on the run. That's my take on Martin's life. Obviously, he's a terrible person, a selfish jerk, doesn't want to live his life with his family anymore. But I think that he made that decision consciously. I don't think he forgot about them. I don't think he suffered memory loss. I just think that he's a bad person. And given the opportunity to run away from them, he took it and spent the rest of his life constantly on the run. If you think differently, please put them down in the comments below. I read every single comment and I love hearing what you guys have to say. I love interacting with this community that loves Adventure Time. I love sharing thoughts, ideas. So please, it doesn't even have to be about this video. Leave it down in the comments below. I will read it. I will respond. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to the video. It helps so much. But as always, stay adventurous.